What should you do if you have myopia or nearsightedness when you cannot see far? Is it a real problem to stop myopia from progressing? Let's discuss it in details. Let's go. So the first step you should do is to do the diagnostic of your myopia. You should know the level of your myopia. Is it a low level or high myopia? And there are actually two types of myopia, the lens myopia and optical myopia. The lens myopia is the low myopia when, when it just starts. It's uh, common uh, when there are not more than minus two dioptries. In most cases, it, it's less than one dioptry. And also, it means that uh, the shape of your eyeball is still correct, it's still a ball. But what happens if your myopia is progressing? Then it turns into optical myopia. So the, the lens of your eyeball is going to be longer along the visual axis. And how can you actually learn about it? You can do two possible researches. The first possible research is um, optical biometry of the eyes, when they can tell you the actual length of your eyeball, if it's within uh, 24 millimeters for adults or not, or longer. If it's longer, then you have optical myopia. Or uh, you can also do the ultrasound research. This is also uh, one of the possible way how to know the actual length of your eyeball. So you will learn the length of your eyeball and what, what next? What can it tell you? The thing is that every half of a diopter, uh, of a diopter uh, every half of a millimeter causes one diopter, one di diopter of uh, your myopia. For example, you have minus six, yeah, and the goal is to find out how many diopters are covered with the lens myopia and how many diopters are covered with optical myopia. You've done the ultrasound research or. Um, optical biometry of the eyes and they told you that your lens uh, has the actual size, the, the, the length of your uh, eyeball is uh, 26 millimeters. So it's more, it's two millimeters longer than a norm. Two millimeters covers four diopters, approximately four diopters. So, which means that your optical myopia is caused, so is causing four diopters, and your lens myopia causes two diopters. Of course, if you don't have astigmatism, because if you have astigmatism, it could also <laughs> causes the problem. And you, when you uh, detect, when you do the test. It can also show you more diopters than you actually have, but in any in any case, in any way, uh, you can do the step number two. The step number two is to go to the ophthalmologist or optometrist and ask for weaker glasses. If you have high myopia, you cannot stop wearing glasses right away. It's not possible. You won't be able to see anything. So, but uh, th the question is, uh, what weaker glasses should you wear? So the weaker glasses should cover at least your optical myopia, which means that you can ask for the minus four glasses, yeah? So you have weaker glasses now, they cover your optical uh, myopia, and the next step is to wear it as less as possible. So you have uh, more chances to learn your eyes to see without glasses. Especially it's important when you walk outside. 
uh, it's not uh, possible when you are driving a car because you, you won't feel safe and it will not be safe for other people uh, but it's possible when you are walking especially with someone else and especially in the area you know so it's not a, it's not going to be a problem and also you can walk uh, you can <laughs> stay without glasses when you are at home yeah the next uh, step is tr to try to learn how to work on pc without glasses you will buy a big screen so you could uh, see big bigger letters you can buy two big screens so technically it's possible to arrange that so because when you work on pc without glasses and practice natural vision recovery then in combination it uh, creates more conditions to recover your eyesight rather than situation when you have to wear glasses and work on the on work on your pc so uh, the next step is to try to work on the pc without glasses at all or at least you should wear weaker glasses then slowly slowly you 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 wear it less less and less and less and less and only on the special um, occasion yeah when it's uh, an emergency right for, for for example driving a car yes you cannot drive without glasses the next step uh, you uh, train a healthy vision behavior Healthy vision behavior is the set of healthy vision habits. For example, you learn how to, to see in a relaxed way, how to blink in a relaxed way, how to blink uh, more often, especially when you um, work uh, on the PC a lot and stare at the screen for, for a long time. You will have breaks after 30 or 40 minutes and do some very simple exercises that we are learning at our uh, classes at Natural Vision Academy. So you are practicing and training healthy vision behavior. You learn how to to see in a relaxed way, how not to uh, avoid the uh, natural light, how to arrange enough light in your room, in your office, how to look far this is also one of the um, habits you, you will need to learn from scratch <laughs> yeah uh, you will also activate your peripheral vision because if you ignore the, the peripheral vision your central vision is getting overstressed especially it happens for people who constantly wear glasses if they wear glasses they overstrain their central vision their central vision never relaxes so when you take off your glasses and when you activate the peripheral it's going to be much easier for you to see in a relaxed way quicker and also you correct your posture and other things that we're learning at our classes yeah and you keep moving to your goal of the vision recovery and slowly you will see far better and better the average results of our students in, in vision academy are from 0 0.25 to one dietary per month considering that you're following all the recommendations above and uh, of course you integrate healthy vision uh, behavior in your daily life and attending our classes because when you attend our classes it will um, intensify your efforts to get 100% uh, vision naturally and slowly you will reduce dietary in, in your glasses yeah for example it will be minus three and a half minus three or minus 3.25 and slowly you will be able to see better and better slowly means that it will be from 0 0.25 to 1 dioptry per month so if you 
like this way of doing things you can try our classes the link to join our classes is below in the description of the video if you like this video please share it with your friends with your relatives subscribe to our channel press on on the bell not to miss the next video cheers